What if I told you, you could turn a simple sentence or even just a photo into cinematic high-impact videos like these in just seconds and completely free? No editing, no complex tools, just pure AI magic. Before we dive deeper, let's first watch a few more amazing videos I generated using this tool. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use Google's powerful new tool that lets you create stunning text-to-video and image-to-video clips absolutely free. And that's not all. I'm also giving away a special bonus, a meta prompt formula that can automatically generate endless high-quality prompts from just a simple title or an image. I'll drop the link to download the guide in the video description, so make sure you stick around till the end. To get started, simply open the link I've provided in the description. Once you sign in using your Gmail ID, you'll see a screen like this. From the left-hand menu, click on Video Gen Link. Let's first quickly understand the basics of this tool. In the Settings section, you'll see a drop-down where you should select VO2. If this model is not appearing for you, don't worry. Google is rolling out this feature in phases, so you should have it in next couple of days. The slider allows you to set how many videos you want to generate at once. Currently, it allows you to generate a maximum of two videos. You can choose between two aspect ratios, 16 to nine, landscape, and nine to 16, portrait, perfect for shorts or reels. You can set the video duration from five seconds to eight seconds. Frame rate and resolution are currently fixed, but in future updates, you'll be able to customize these parameters as well. The prompt box is where you enter your text prompts to generate text to video, or upload an image if you want to generate a video based on that image. There are multiple ways to add an image. You can select it from your Google Drive, upload directly from your computer, use camera to click the photo, or can use their sample media if you want to try out. There's also a negative prompt field. This lets you specify what you don't want in your video, helping the AI generate even cleaner, more cinematic results. As you saw in the examples earlier, this tool is incredibly powerful and can generate high quality videos, but your prompt plays a critical role in the final output. Referring to the official VO2 guide, I've created a detailed meta prompt guide that will help you craft amazing prompts easily. You can access the guide from the link provided in the description. Okay, now let's see how we can use this guide. And using this guide, we can, uh, you know, generate different prompts for text to video as well as image to video. So basically the idea is as soon as you provide the text and style, uh, you will be getting the exact prompt based on the guideline that uh, Google has provided to generate the videos using VOE. Okay, so let's get started. To do that, first I log into ChatGPT. So you just need to go to chatgpt.com. Okay, and then you just need to copy complete text okay and paste it in the in chat GPT, okay don't press enter before pressing enter you also need to copy this first one this particular prompt is for generating text to video so i'll just paste this one as well okay and press enter let's see what happens Okay, so it says that um, just provide what the first subject would like to work on. So I just need to provide the subject. So for example, I just need to generate a video for, for example, futuristic cute robot doing magical spell in majestic forest. Okay, so i'll just press enter so as you can see i'm just providing what kind of video i want to generate and i'll just press enter and then it will provide you the prompt so let's wait for this prompt to generate and it will be the detailed prompt based on the guideline that uh, google has provided to generate the video using voe okay so let me copy the complete prompt and i'll paste it here in the prompt box okay and before entering i'll also copy the negative prompt right so I'll just copy this one. So as you can see, it also provides you the prompt that you need to put in along with the negative prompt. Okay. So I'll also do that. And in the negative prompt section, I'll post it like this. Okay. And once done, I'll click on run. Okay. As you can see, it is showing the timer. It will take a couple of seconds, right? And then after a couple of seconds, your video will be generated. So let's see how much time it takes. And obviously right now I'm going with the default settings. Like I have kept the video duration eight seconds. You have that option to change it to any other setting, but I the default setting works fine for me. So I'll, I'll go with this default setting. 
Okay, so it took around a minute and then this is our video that has been generated. And see how beautiful image it generated, right? It's an 8 second video and then this robot is doing the magical spell in the majestic forest, right? So it captures everything, whatever I provide in the prompt, everything is there in this video, right? So this way you can also uh, generate the video like this. So let's see another example. Maybe what I'll do is... Um, Cute furry dog in 3D style playing in the garden. Okay. And I'll just paste enter and let's see what kind of image, sorry, prompt it generates. Okay. So it has given me the prompt. So I'll just copy this prompt again and I will paste it over here. And also I'll include the negative prompt and I'll paste it over here. Okay. And I'll click on run. Let's see what kind of image it generates. And as I mentioned, it uh, took around one minute to generate an eight second video. Okay, it again take uh, again took around one minute, and now my video should be appearing. Okay, so here it is. I'll just click here, and as you can see, this is a beautiful image that was generated, right? Uh, sorry, beautiful video that it generated. So I'll just click on play. And it's awesome right and you can just click over here and you can download right if you want so this is just beautiful right so just by providing a simple subject you can generate any kind of video that you want okay now as we have seen that how you can generate text to video and there's no limit whatever subject you want to generate the video you just need to provide that subject over here chat gpt will give um, the prompt positive prompt and whatever image you want to generate as well as negative prompt that you need to put in that you do not want to be included in the video and then your video will be generated and as i mentioned this the guide the prompt that i have created is based on the recommendation that google had so you will be getting the best prompt that the that is required for generating the video okay now let's see another example and this example is for how you can generate image to video okay and so to do that what i'll do is i'll again go to this link uh, my guide and i'll select the second prompt okay this is the second prompt that i have so you just need to copy the instruction part so i'll just copy the instruction part copy it and paste it in chat gpt okay I'll paste it over here and press enter. Let's see what happens. So it says once you upload the image, I'll study it in detail and craft a rich cinematic video generation prompt for VOE2. Okay. So let's go ahead and um, try uh, uploading one image. Okay. Okay. So let me upload one image. So I'll just upload this one. And as soon as image is uploaded, I'll press enter and then the map magic happens wherein this will this prompt will read the image and it bases that it will give you the detailed prompt for generating the uh, video okay so let's see so it has given me the prompt it has given me the negative prompt let me try to copy that but for generating the image to video you also need to attach the image over here right so let me do that i'll just copy it over here upload image and then i'll select the same image that i generated okay and then i'll just paste the prompt that chat gpt give and in the negative prompt as well i'll just copy this one and i'll paste it over here okay and i'll click on run as you can see this is the image that we have uploaded this is the static image and let's see what kind of video it generates Okay, so our video has been generated. Let's quickly see what kind of image it generated. Oh, wow, wonderful, right? So you can see, let me play it again. Beautiful, right? So, okay, if you want to download this image, you can just click on this um, download icon and it will download the video for you. Let's see it in media player this is the video it generated using that image and it's beautiful it's awesome okay so if you want to create any kind of content be it here for a college project if you are a content creator you can utilize this tool and right now it is completely free let's try another example i'll again go here 
and I'll upload another image. And for this one, let me upload this. Uh, uh, okay, not maybe not this one. I'll just go ahead and upload this one. Okay, and press enter. Okay, let me first. Let's. It is still uploading. So I'll press enter. So I have uploaded this image, as you can see. This is the image that I uploaded. Right, and let's see what kind of prompt it gives. So I have a detail prompt ready for generating the video. I have the negative prompt as well. So I'll go to this tool again. I'll delete this file. I'll delete this prompt. I'll again upload the image, and I'll again upload this one. I'll paste the prompt. I'll also paste the negative prompt. All right and i'll click on run and it will take another uh, maybe another one minute okay so processing has been completed and this is the video it generated let's quickly see this video what kind of video it generated and as you can see this dog is moving and it's amazing right so i mean this really looks uh, kind of a video from some movie right so from some Hollywood movie so this kind of video you can easily generate that too uh, free using this tool right and all these prompt whatever is required you can easily generate using the um, meta prompt that I have shared okay the only limitation that I have found so far is like using one account per day you will be able to generate around six to 10 videos okay so i had two um, google account using which i was able to generate around 15 videos right so and um, other day the my quota got renewed so again another day i can i can you know generate the uh, around 15 videos again and if you have multiple gmail account obviously per account you can generate as i mentioned uh, 6 to 10 videos so that's the only limitation but this is completely free and the the quality and the prompt adherence that it has i'll not complain much okay so this is what it is if you like this video please consider subscribing to this channel thank you